What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the changes coming to uh, Tales of Tribute in the Necrom chapter. I know if you're like myself, you're on console, we have just a few more days until the Necrom chapter releases. And I know there's a lot of console players out there that really enjoy playing Tales of Tribute. So I want to kind of let you know exactly what's changing with Tales of Tribute in the Necrom chapter. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, which everyone is welcome to join. My Twitter if you like. Uh, would like to follow me on social media and of course if you enjoy the video hit the like button and i really would appreciate it if you consider hitting the subscribe button as well now we will be getting a new patron and a new deck but there's also going to be some mechanic changes coming with tales of tribute and i think this is going to be something that a lot of players are really interested to hear first of all the first new mechanic they're adding is an agent that will allow you to take any card in your opponent's cool uh, in your opponent's cooldown and hold it hostage until that agent is removed from play. So this will be something that will allow you to counter uh, the person you're playing against, kind of what they can play and when they will be able to play it, because they will have to concentrate on getting rid of that, um, you know, uh, our agent that you have holding their card hostage. And that's going to be another way to kind of change the way the game is kind of going to play out. The second mechanic they're adding is a, a something to allow you to discard less useful cards from your hand in exchange for potentially drawing a better one. You're not going to have a guaranteed chance, but if you have one of those hands where you just kind of know that it's not going to play very well the further uh, into the game you get or the longer the game goes on, you can get some of those a little, little less useful cards and maybe get a chance to draw a really good card. And the third mechanic is something that will allow you to look at the top few cards of your opponent's deck and place up to one in their cooldowns. The more this patron favors you, the deeper into the deck you get to look, but the ability cost rises as well. And this is definitely a interesting kind of take on, I guess, a, a back and forth game now because a lot of things they're adding is something that you can counter uh, your opponent with if you end up having one of these new three uh, mechanics that are adding in. And of course, this is last but not least, is something that was actually in the game uh, when High Isles was uh, released, when you know we first got to play the new Tales of Tribute. But the hand refresh allows players to pick up any card from their cooldown pile and place it into their hand. So this is just a modification to something we already had in game. We just had a little bit of a change to it. So overall, there's a lot of things now that you can, like I said, just kind of counter your opponent with. And I think this is going to make for some more interesting matches, maybe between you and someone else. Uh, because of these new things they're adding in. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts and let me know if you're looking forward to the Necrom chapter and if you're looking forward to playing uh, some more Tales of Tribute now that these things are being added in. And of course, I'll catch you all next time. Peace.